The myths are many, and the tales told are handed down over generations of audio experts. In reality, the two types of microphones work on the very same principles. They are both transducers, and they both transform acoustical energy into electrical voltage. Dynamic microphones consist of three key elements, a diaphragm, a coil, and a magnet. In the dynamic microphone, the diaphragm can be made of many types of material, plastic, nylon, even paper, but the important thing is that it's lightweight. The diaphragm is fixed to the edge of the housing and to the coil, making sure that the coil can vibrate over the magnet as the air pressure changes around the diaphragm. This movement creates the electrical voltage that can be amplified or recorded. The condenser microphone also consists of three key elements. A diaphragm, a backplate, and an amplifier. The backplate is charged like a battery and holds a static voltage. And because the diaphragm in the condenser microphone is conductive, an electrical field is created between the two plates, the diaphragm and the charged backplate. The diaphragm is very thin and easily bent towards the backplate. So when the diaphragm is pushed inward, again due to the increase in the air pressure level in front of it, the distance between the two plates decreases, which results in a higher output voltage. And of course, the opposite happens as the air pressure decreases and the diaphragm moves away from the backplate. There's almost no current from this type of output, even though there's a relatively high voltage. So the signal needs an electrical circuit, also called an impedance converter, to add more current and to make the signal less vulnerable and more suited for amplifying, for example, through a console. This electric circuit needs external power, which is either provided by the console, typically 48 volt phantom power, or from the wireless transmitter, where typically five volts is available and sufficient. The dynamic microphone is a very simple construction. It's cheaper to make, but due to the relatively heavy moving coil, it's less precise. Due to the more lightweight construction of the diaphragm in a condenser microphone, it is capable of reacting faster and more accurately to sound pressure changes. Small diaphragms have better transient response than bigger diaphragms, which means that the small condenser microphone reacts more precisely to fast bursts of energy, for example from a snare drum or from a piano.